So, willkommen zurück, meine lieben Freunde. Ich bin so euer Odo. Zurück mit unserem. Schau an. Es ist sogar jemand noch wach. Um diese Uhrzeit. Ähm. Zum. Äh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. Schau an. Hätte ich nicht gedacht, dass noch irgendjemand hier auftaucht. Ich habe etwas zu spät angefangen. Das heißt, die meisten Leute waren wahrscheinlich noch nicht da. Okay, hier gibt es, glaube ich, zumindest den Wirten, mit dem wir sprechen können. Edelina. Sonst gibt es, glaube ich, kein interessant Mensch. Show us what treats you have. Na, tell me about yourself. I'd be happy to you. Your grace. I love to talk especially about myself. Na ja, dann. Erzähl mal. I hail from the River Kingdom, Sartum to be precise. I'm from a farming family. Like just about everybody from around there. Okay. No, 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 no. There's too many bad people, too lazy to work all day. Never no, mind. Taking other people's things. Sie wollte also nicht in den Feldern arbeiten. Hm. Hm. We'll just see it and come on in. Tell me about the river kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Each kingdom is a special place all its own. Elves live in one of them. Another one, half of the country belongs to the murderers guild and the other half gives them their orders. They say they even get locals discounts. Mm. There's just one thing that unites us all. Like a strong thread keeps a quilt together. It's the six river freedoms. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Say what you will, I live free. It doesn't mean you won't get beaten up for what you say, though. Second freedom, well, if you can call it a freedom, roofbreakers die. Mm hmm. <laughs> the third freedom, walk any road, float any river. Once the ruler of Haybar decided to build a gate across the river and collect a fee from each passing boat, well there's no more Haybar. The fourth freedom is even worse than the second one, courts are for kings. Whatever a king says goes, well as long as he doesn't say to build a gate across the river. <laughs> Now for the fifth, slavery is an ab abomination, nothing to explain there. Runaway slaves from all over come to us for a reason. The sixth, you have what you hold. It means that theft is a much worse crime than robbery. If you catch my drift, you can honestly beat a robber and keep what's yours, but a thief acts on the quiet, shame on him. That's just disrespectful. Okay. What's gibt's noch? All the news in the whole region must pass through this inn. What rumors have you heard? Gute Frage. <laughs> Entschuldigung. Lately everyone's been talking about the tower at the Candlemere. They say lights were dancing around it like a busy cook's stove. Everyone who saw it says different things. Some witnessed a dragon and some glowing hamsters crawling from the lake. Okay, was hast du alles zum Verkaufen hier? Käse, Camping Supply, apropos Camping Supply, wie viel habe ich denn noch? Gar keins mehr. Hm. Sollte ich vielleicht kaufen? 100 vielleicht nicht, aber... 
Wir sind sechs Leute. Für drei Campings sind 18. Das muss irgendwas Sinnvolles nö. Okay. Ja, Emre, ich habe es mir schon fast gedacht, dass du es bist. Entschuldigung, ich habe nicht gleich darauf reagiert. Du warst es schon die letzten paar Male. Hast du nichts zu... Musst du nicht schlafen? Bist du nicht noch zu jung, um so lange wach zu bleiben? Na okay, meine Kinder sind auch noch auf. Ihr habt Ferien, das passt schon. Okay. So, was ist das? Ja. Mhm. Schauen wir mal. Verlassen wir die Stadt. <lacht> Bleiben wir in dieser Zusammensetzung oder nehmen wir den Harry mit, weil wir wollen jetzt nach Süden und dort gibt es diese Zwergenfestungen, die er sehen will. Andererseits, wir gehen sicher noch öfter mal hin und wir schauen uns jetzt mal das Land an, wie es da unten ausschaut. Wir kennen es ja noch nicht einmal. Und ich glaube, wir sollten in dieser Zusammensetzung gehen, die sehr stark ist. Oder wir setzen dich durch sie mal. Brauchen wir einen Baden? Auf der Reise. Oder also sie durch ihn. Könnte man auch machen. Na, lass mal das. Das ist eine gute Zusammensetzung. Ich mag sie außerdem. Sie ist, sie ist lawful evil. Genauso wie wir. Mhm. So, wie kommen wir da in die South Marches? Echt jetzt? Wir gehen aus der Stadt und schon gibt es wieder eine Nachricht. Die können wir mal gern haben. Ah, da ist eine Ford. Ford across the Skunk River. Und da ist der Ruin Watchtower. Das ist auch gut. Wir schauen uns mal den Skunk River an. Ich glaube, da könnten wir den unseren, unseren zukünftigen Treasurer finden. Der ist ziemlich cool. Ah, oh, sehr gern. Cooler Charakter. Ein bisschen arrogant, aber okay. Irgendwas war, dass es gut war. Ich glaube, es war gut, dass man auf der Seite irgendwie reingegangen ist, bevor man vorgegangen ist. Weil man das dann sonst nicht mehr gekriegt hat. Den Exit Splash doch daher. Okay. Haben wir gut gemacht. Du hältst echt nichts aus. Also zumindest was Zaubersprüche betrifft. <lacht> okay. Na gut. Ähm das war jetzt nicht so schwer. Okay. Ziemlich viel Zeug da drinnen. Das wir wahrscheinlich nicht brauchen. Was ist das? Ein Brecheisen. Wozu brauchen wir ein Brecheisen? Hier. Hm. 
So, da gibt es einen Haufen Sachen zum Anschauen. Was ist das? The camp looks habitable. Its owners must be somewhere nearby. Äh, ja. The gnomes fought fiercely, but eventually they were outnumbered. Cobalt's corpses are badly burned by acid and alchemical fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Irgendwo müsste es hier also noch ähm, Gnome geben. Gnome sind cool. Uh, was ist das, ein Dagger? Ein Sei, was auch immer ein Sei ist, ein Decker wahrscheinlich. <lacht> ah, von plus eins Sei. Offensichtlich nicht. Ach, das haben wir doch schon geöffnet, oder? Das ist einfach nicht rausgenommen, was da drinnen war. Doch. What's in wait for me there? So, na dann schauen wir mal. Da vorne ist jetzt wieder so eine... mit etwas Glück. Hey, you there. Quick. You to help us. Give them what they deserve. So, warte mal. Äh, du mach doch mal sowas. Amiri, du darfst mal das machen. Bring it! Jeffel, das kannst du eh zweimal machen. Unworthy. Du äh, machst das doch bitte auf den. Du greifst einfach Aber den an, mitten rein. Schneeball! Auf den hier. Jubilost, genau so hat er geheißen. <lacht> so, das drehen wir mal wieder ab. Quick, you've got to help us. Na gut. Oder auch nicht. Tatuk. So, the gnome invites some of his friends, stupid, slow, sluggish gnome. Tutsche ist doch auch ein Gnome, oder? Gnome. Stupid. Dumme Kobolde. There's a 
purple cobalt on the riverbank, who looks just like your old acquaintance Tatucho. Cobalt want this card. Cobalt shall have it. The horse skull hides most of the cobalt's face, but you see his vicious eyes glinting through the empty sockets, starting at staring at you by orders of myself, the glorious King Tartuk. Cobalt pounds his chest with his fist. Tartuk King. The head of the gnome expedition wipes his brow and glares at the cobalt. This bastard has one was the one talking our ears off while the rest of them were trying to steal our cart. Hmm. King Tartuk. <laughs> gnome looks at you and winks. What do you say to a bit of regicide? I've killed you once and I'll, <laughs> I'll be happy to do it again. I recognize you. What is this new disguise and why are you not dead? Gute Frage. How dare you speak like that to the king? Cobalt attack. Here does. Mm -hmm. So, du mach mal Heili Heili. zu schießen, du dummes Ding. Hm. See you soon again. This is not over. Ja, ja, das sagen sie alle. Mhm. Ach, Mist. Ist mein Dings abgestorben? Gut, das uh, Help the Beleaguer Travelers. Na gut. Um, na dann. Helfen wir ihnen doch mal. Wo ist der gute Jubilost? Gnome? Gnome Guard? Jubilost. Na bitte. We can't handle it without your help. Na dann. Ach so. While the gnomes were busy fighting the kobolds, furiously cursing and diligently punching their unwelcome guests right in their dragonish snouts, the cart was all but forgotten. The unwitting cause of the fight was being dragged away by the scared ponies when it slid down the fort, sinking all the ever hätten for help speichern sollen. Ich kann mich wieder erinnern, das war ziemlich unangenehm letztens, weil wir alles zerstört haben damit. <laughs> Um, dann habe ich alles noch einmal gemacht. In the task water and the current becomes excessively spiteful, cold, stubborn and turbulent. Having taken hold of the gnome's cart, the skunk river must have decided to drag it down amid all the commodities. Oh, the commotion. Oh, but it was caught in the act. Mm -hmm. The surviving gnomes 
met by the head of the gnome expedition, an extremely loud and crappy fellow, but not without some managerial talent. Uh, we are able to catch the cart before it floated away. Faces red and grunting from the strain, they struggled to keep it from drowning entirely. Just then a package fell into the water with a heart-breaking splash. It vanished beneath the current only to surface 10 meters down the river. No! The head of the gnome expedition moaned as, the, as he glowed, glowered at the package that was alchemy and life, the latest issue. After plunging into the cold river, the ponies immediately lost their nerve. Swiveling their ears and twitching, they tried to chew through the reins and throw off the load. Why are you just standing around? Go on, help them! The head of the gnome expedition was visibly dissatisfied as he shouted. Uh, we set the crowbar under the cart's wheel. Ah, dafür hatten wir dort, mussten wir dort hin. Choose character. One of us tried to jump into the cart to untie the pony's neck. We tied the rope to the cart. Tied the rope. Mm. While the gnomes were busy fighting the kobolds, furiously cursing. Oh, this haben wir schon alles. Item lost crowbar. Set under the wheel, the crowbar wedged into position against the stone on the riverbed, making the process of pulling the cart out of the river easier. Na schau an. War gut, dass wir dort waren, weil ich glaube, diese Crowbar hätten wir sonst nicht gekriegt. Uh, beziehungsweise wir hätten es, uh, wäre sowieso schon zu spät gewesen. We gathering our strength, we began pulling the cart from the river. We tied a rope to the cart. We left the cart alone for a moment, hoping to find something helpful nearby. Well, no one in rope. Items lost rope. One, two, three, and the rope was securely tied to the cart, making it easier to pull out. A good lesson for everyone, every adventure. Never leave home without a rope. Rope is your best friend. <lacht> Sehr gut. Zumindest einmal hat dieses dumme Rope, das ziemlich schwer ist im Übrigen, etwas gebracht. Hm. So, die Pferde für Gering aus Train. We began pulling. Ready? Ah, my foot. Head of the gnome expedition yelled, his face red and angry. With help like this, my possessions will be down the river in a flash. Just go to the camp or find those runaway ponies or find some other way to help gods. With the cart alone for a moment, hoping to find something helpful nearby. Ich glaube, es gibt hier noch irgendwo Pferde, die man mit darüber nehmen sollen. Vielleicht haben sie das aber jetzt geändert. Da vorne gibt es die Pferde, genau. A pair of scared ponies stands before you. They don't run away, but they snort loudly and neigh as you approach. These are most likely the spare pair of ponies that the gnomes expedition used to pull their cart. When the kobolds attacked, They went tied to the cart, so they just pulled themselves free and fled into the forest. Okay. Hey, these are my ponies, stupid animals. Why do you flee the camp? The gnome glares at the ponies, who seem unperturbed. <laughs> On the other hand, if you were smart, I suppose you'd want me to pay for your services. I guess it's in all our best interests <laughs> that you stay stupid. Law Nature. Wer kann das von uns? Amiri plus 9, bitte. Try to calm the ponies. Come on. Geschafft. Finde ich gut. Gained 18 experience. 18 Erfahrungspunkte dafür, dass wir diese Ponys glücklich gemacht haben. Soothed by your voice, the ponies 
let you touch them and stroke their manes. You decide to lead them to the river to help drag the gnome's cart out. Okay. Weg sind sie. Na dann, versuchen wir es doch nochmal. Bla 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 bla, kennen wir schon alles. Äh so, na gut. Mobility 13, Lonica 0. Wenn wir einen Generalisten wollen, nehmen wir sie. Wenn wir sie einfach nur losbinden wollen, nehmen wir sie. Succeeded at a mobility and a law nature check. Now Sean, Miri nimbly climbed onto the roof of the cart and carefully crawled toward the ponies hitched up at the river bank. The ponies seemed to be relieved to feel a firm hand holding the reins again. They, they calmed down at once and f allowed themselves to be unhitched. In just a few moments, they were standing back at the fort ready to pull the cart from the river. 27 XP for this hate and tart. Now calm and tied securely to the cart, the ponies neighed quietly waited. Blah 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 blah. If you're certain you're ready, then let's do it. But be careful, imagine the cart's full of gold or ale or some other thing you couldn't bear to lose. Mary <laughs> frowned. Better you should trust in our dignity than our great sir gnome. The gnome rolls his eyes. For God's sake, whatever. Just pull the cart. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, super. <laughs> we tried to pull the cart out. Okay. Cart creaked and cracked, sounding as though it was sobbing. The board strained against the combined stress of the rushing waters, pull against everyone trying to pull the cart ashore. Unfortunately for the cart, both sides were of equal strength. Something had to be done, or the poor cart would be torn to pieces. Okay, wir können all diese Sachen machen. Einen Lore Nature Check, da haben wir ein Plus 9. Was? Ich muss das machen? In 13. Strain 14. Athletics 20. Oder Charisma 15. Na okay, Charisma minus 1. Ich glaube Charisma lassen wir. Ah, dann machen wir einen Strength Check. Why think when you have strong hands? The Baron has decided that if the card won't give we just need to pull harder. Okay. Good, this thing is in. The one that stands before you wears dirty and ragged clothes. They used to look stylish and wealthy long ago, but those times are long gone. His black hair is matted, a deep fresh scratch across crosses his cheek. Despite of this rather pathetic look, Noam behaves with inner dignity and even manages to maintain a superior manner. Okay. Jubilost Nartropel, a humble servant to no one. Schau, er hat sogar eine eigene Stimme. 
Well, one shouldn't expect a fast reaction from a baroness herself. After all, it's common knowledge that titled persons usually hire a bunch of advisors to do all the thinking for them, so they must have some other bunch to jump in the rivers and save carts. <coughs> By the way, it's a shame no one organized a greeting party when such a famous and popular person as myself arrived to your capital. I wasn't expecting to come in the capital with rose petals, but you could at least have sent ahead some delegation. Uh, yeah. Hopefully some of my servants are still alive. Do you know how much it costs to train a proper servant? <laughs> okay. Sounds like your servants are nothing but tools to you. Truly, with masters like that, being a servant is not much of an improvement over being a slave. What's this then? Huh. Run along, little girl, the grown ups are talking. So, you're not only arrogant, but a boorish swine as well. Why am I not surprised at all? Ooh, I see, we have some Freunde gefunden. Also, while I'm on that, I'd like to make an official announcement. The roads in your barony are in terrible condition. People must search for wading fords to cross the rivers mm -hmm. because no one had bothered themselves with building bridges, and honest travelers have to take the risk of being attacked by kobolds at any moment. Uh, is schon klar, dass dieses Ding erst ein Monat existiert. Never mind. When I draw the map of these lands, I will call them the end of all roads. Dirt beyond. <laughs> it's a fitting name. <laughs> so super. You fell silent at last. He just watches you with his shifty eyes opening and closing his mouth as if he wants to say something more but hasn't come up with anything yet. You think too highly of yourself, Sir Gnome. Behave with some dignity while you're on these lands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. The very spirit of knighthood embodied. So, what do you propose me to do, Sir Knight? Should I lie? <laughs> By no means. But you shall not be so blunt. Bid you to express your opinion in a more courteous form. Your problem, Sir Knight, is that you worry too much about form and appearance. Unsurprisingly so, considering your pretty face. As for me, I worry solely about the content. No say I was. Der hat sich sofort mit sämtlichen äh, sämtlichen Leuten hier verscherzt. Uh, nein, wir werden ihn nicht attacken. Auf keinen Fall, wir werden hier nicht das Chaotic Evil machen, egal wie nah es bei mir ist. Ähm, er ist einfach ein zu guter Treasurer, als dass ich ihn umbringen will. Äh, how do you know I'm a Baroness? Ich habe schon gesagt, ich habe deine Kapital schon ein paar Jahre alt. Warum hörst du mich zu mir? Und ich bin gewohnt, dass ich von den Offizieren begrüßt werde, wenn ich in Settlements von etwas etwas Importanz bin. Die Glory von mir selbst und meine Exploits werden immer gefällt. Und die Offizieren werden immer gefällt, dass ich auf dem Weg bin. Ja, du hast recht. Ich sollte es erinnern, dass deine Lande in der Mitte von nirgendwo sind und du nicht die Updates auf wichtige Dinge in Zeit bekommst. Das stimmt, das kriegen wir nicht. Ich mag nicht deine Manner von Sprechen. Also was? Ich mag viele Dinge nicht. You know what I do when I don't like something? I try to change it. For example, I don't like your barony's roads, so I've reported to the authorities about it, namely you. And as for you, instead of pouting, you better get down to business and try to resolve the trouble. <laughs> Wo er recht hat, hat er recht. I can see it's your first encounter with freedom of speech. Just do what you consider right and let others discuss it. You know, not everyone gets a chance to become a Ach, baroness, so discussing the baroness' actions even. is actually all the unlucky ones can do. You do realize you're in my lands now, so you can get arrested and executed for statements like that. Well, now you're talking like a Chalaxian. It's all completely up to you, but I must warn you, the whole world knows my whereabouts. If something happens to me, neighboring states will definitely notice it. Okay. So what happened here? How did your cart end up in the My river? My party and I set up camp at the bank of this river. We just finished kindling the fire when that purple bastard appeared. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of it before. He introduced himself thing. as the king of the kobolds and told me he needed our clothes. Because he wanted to dress his subjects properly, you see. As long as they've established the kingdom of their own. That's literally what he said. I wonder where did he learn the words. 
Obviously, I told him to buzz off. Some kobold wants to strut around wearing the clothes of the great cartographer Jubilos Nartrouble. Uh, no way. So I've been explaining my position to him, being rather eloquent, too, suggesting he and his so-called kingdom might as well fall into the deepest sinkhole. But in the meantime, I've noticed that kobolds have already started to untie my cart. Well, I called my men to keep the cart safe. They couldn't guess what to do on their own, just stood there with their mouths ajar. Then things heated up as the fighting started, and while we were fighting, the ponies dragged the cart to the river. Ah, stupid animal. <laughs> said you were famous, but I didn't know you. What are you famous for? That was for? either a stupid and offensive joke, or a case of total ignorance. <laughs> the latter, I hope. I'm famous as a traveler, a cartographer, an alchemist, and a journalist. The students of all the major universities study the world blah, blah, blah. <laughs> My articles for different journals are well known everywhere from Andorran to Brevoid. You definitely read some issues of National Alchemy, haven't you? Uh, no. The culinary Almanac of the Inner Sea? Or the most scandalous one, the Independence, describing benefits and drawbacks of governments and regimes in different states? <laughs> Didn't read any of these. Oh, well, don't answer that. I don't want to spoil my impression of your barony. It's spoiled enough already. It would be hard for me to write at least something positive otherwise. <laughs> so what is this? And what is such a famous person doing that far from civilization? I pursue two objectives. The first is to write an article on this new barony of yours for the independence. The second is to draw a detailed map of the stolen lands. Before this barony appeared, it had been too dangerous to come here, but now an opportunity has appeared. Thanks to you, I must add. So, as you can see, the freedom of speech sometimes grants positive comments too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm almost done with this journey. My article is practically ready, so is the map. All that's left to do now is to find an old dwarven outpost established here several centuries ago. This is the uh, outpost you're Your searching for. Is stunning. You create a barony and still you know nothing about the lands you own. I'll have to enlighten you on the subject. Yeah, you bitte tut us. Long ago there was a dwarven trade route crossing these lands. It connected Five Kings Mountains and the north. The route was so important to the dwarves that they were generous blah, enough blah, to set blah, a number blah, of blah, outposts blah. along it and with armed guardians to provide protection for the traders. One of these outposts must be somewhere nearby, lost and completely forsaken. But nothing can avoid the watchful eye of the great cartel of the Jubilos Nartrouble. I will find this outpost, and I will mark its location on the map. You can trust me on that. Tell me, is this old dwarven outpost abandoned? Is it possible it's now used by trolls as a dare, for Why instance? Not? Dwarves like being underground, trolls like being underground too. It's quite possible after dwarves left, their warm and cozy place fell into the hands of less attractive creatures. Maybe we are looking for the same place. Let's you seem try. to be a capable companion. But I'll pass for now. I still have to count my losses after the river took my cart and all my stuff. If I find this outpost, I will let you know. I Goodbye. Would be grateful. I'll stay here for a while. I, I need to sort things out. Was hier im Fluss? Er scheint mir nicht besonders intelligent. Na gut, ähm, Kinder, an dieser Stelle werde ich Schluss machen mit meiner Aufnahme für ähm, YouTube. Und ich werde dann wahrscheinlich auch schlafen gehen langsam. <lacht> YouTube drehe ich ab. Jetzt.